Hello and welcome to another product review with me, John. Today, I'm going to be reviewing a special type of pizza from the Real Good Pizza Company. So good, there's a thumbs up on the box. And what is so special about Real Good Pizza Company's pizza? Why are there three thumbs up in front of me? Are they telling you how to vote up this video? Yes. But also, this pizza is special. This pizza is special because there are, is only four carbs per pizza. How does a pizza get four carbs? Isn't a pizza mostly bread? not this pizza. The Real Good Pizza Company makes their crusts grain-free, all-natural chicken breast and Parmesan crust. So, these pizzas, the crust is made of chicken. You get 25 grams of protein and 4 grams of carbs per pizza. These are individually sized. This is the size of the thing. I think it's like four inches compared to my face. You can see it is relatively small. But anyway, I got three of them, so hopefully three of them will make me not hungry. It comes in three flavors. It comes in the three cheese, which I have here. And before I try it, I'm going to tell you how how you make it. So these are frozen. They come in this box. They come wrapped in plastic, and they come with their little styrofoam disc they sit on. Now there's two instructions. There's microwave, and there's oven. I chose to use the oven method. Uh, microwave. It's microwave for about two minutes. That's it. After you take it out of the carton and remove the film, you leave it on the cardboard. Um, the same thing with the conventional oven. Take off the plastic, but you leave it on the cardboard disc. The oven you preheat to 400 degrees, and now the, the cheese and the pepperoni cook for 15 to 17 minutes. The Supreme pizza says 20 to 22 minutes. Same thing, 400 degrees. Now, after that's done, you can go ahead and eat it. However, the crust, and I'll tell you this for sure because it happened to me, is kind of floppy. Even in the oven, it, it's not stiff like a crust should be. So they do offer this helpful tip right here for a crisper crust. Just put it on a, a, a pan and cook it over uh, medium-high heat for one to two minutes. Just with like a little cooking spray or some oil um, underneath it, just so it doesn't stick to your pan. And that will just make it uh, caramelized and the chicken will crust up a bit. So as you can see on this one, it definitely crusted up a little bit. Let's try the cheese pizza first. This is the three cheese real good pizza company chicken crust pizza. Yeah. Low carb pizza, but on this four inch pizza is 830 milligrams of sodium. And the first bite I took, I was like, this is kind of salty. If you're on a sodium restricted diet, this real good pizza company's pizza is not for you. 
However, sodium is not an issue for you. It's pretty good. There isn't a noticeable level of salt on it. It's not overwhelming. Uh, it doesn't ruin it. But you're going to say, hmm, this is salty. And the serving is one pizza. 14 grams of fat, 240 calories, 75 milligrams of cholesterol, 830 milligrams of sodium, only four carbs, two sugars, and 25 proteins. So if you're on a low carb, high protein diet, this is pretty good for you. Uh, the flavor, um, I actually think it tastes relatively like pizza. Now, that shouldn't be surprising because it has sauce and cheese just like a regular pizza does. It doesn't taste like bread. It does taste like it's a disc of chicken. But yeah. With three cheese, it's pretty good. Now, typically when you order pizza with just cheese on it, it's because you don't want meat. Not in this case, because the crust is meat. So that's kind of strange, to me at least. Let me know if you think so too. But next up, let's try the pepperoni. This one has 950 milligrams of sodium, 16 grams of fat, still 25 grams of protein, 270 calories, two sugars, four carbs. Yeah. Let's give it a taste. Here's the pepperoni one. You can see the the back of it has crusted up fairly well. And I know it does have like a a dip to it. Now I think one of my pepperonis got a little uh this one here. A little freezer burn turned a little bit gray on me. Let's give it a taste. So, compared to the other one, the big difference here is the addition of the pepperoni. I do think I like the pepperoni a little better. It gives it like a, another texture to it. The pepperonis on here do get like, not like crisp and hard, but uh, they pass the chewy level so they're, they actually like bites clean through and like, not necessarily crunch, but more than just chewy. Um, yeah, I think I like that one better. Up next we have the Supreme. Yeah, it even says the Supreme. I didn't even know it was the on there, but I did say the Supreme, so I was right by an accident. This one has 16 grams of fat, 75 cholesterol, 910 milligrams of sodium, which is less than the pepperoni, 4 carbs, 2 sugars, 25 proteins, 270 calories. So, everything the same as the pepperoni, but a little bit less sodium. Probably because this one only has two pepperonis on it, instead of three. There's also some sausage pieces, some green pepper, some red pepper, black olive, there's some like yellow pepper on there, let me see if it has onion on it, 
vegetable one is bell peppers, olives, red onions. So yeah, there's red onion on there too. Again, let's see the back. That one crusted up probably the nicest out of all of them, I think. Evenly. And there's the front of it. Let's give this Supreme a taste. You know what? That was actually really good. Alright, let's sum this review up. The Real Good Pizza Company. If you're on a low carb diet, it's real good. If you're on a sodium restricted diet, it's real bad. Taste wise, they're good. I would eat this any day of the week. They're a good size to take with you to work for lunch. High in protein. Like I said, tastes great. You're probably not going to miss the the bread. It's pretty filling. I think the the protein really fills you up in this. Um, and they taste great. I have no complaints about the taste. Like I said, when I first bit into it, I was like, hey, this is kind of salty. But it's not too salty. Overall, I'm going to give the Real Good Pizza Company, in general, an 8.5 out of 10. A solid B+. They do have larger uh, items. I think these are 4 inches. Excuse me, and they have like a seven inch one, which is not huge. It's not going to get into the size of like your typical uh, frozen pizza. But that one has two servings, so I think they just want to make, if you were sharing with someone else, a bigger serving size. And I think for that one, it's still four grams of carbs per serving. But again, like I said, there's two servings of a large one. Um, for, it was kind of hard for me to find these. I had to go to a, a, a specialty grocery store. Um, you can go on their website and find out if there's anyone near you. I do know that they are teamed up with Kroger grocery stores. So if you have a Kroger near you, then you have a good shot of finding this. I'll still call ahead. Maybe they don't have it stocked. But uh, that's where I would look first if you have Kroger near you. Otherwise, go to their website because there is like smaller, uh, either like market style stores where they tend to have more organic and fresh stuff, uh, like a Whole Foods, but I don't think Whole Foods has it, but like that type of store. Um, and then some health food stores or some like workout training stores, I think they have these too. Um, and then you can also order it online from the website. However, you have to buy it in bulk, and that can get pricey. And if you don't know if you like it or not, it's kind of a risk. But uh, do go to their store, their website, and figure out where they are near you, and try it out. Uh, I do recommend it if it's, especially if you're a low carb person. I'm not a low carb person, but I was still interested in trying it out. Um, I saw it on a Facebook ad anyway, uh, so just uh, intrigued me. Chicken crust pizza. Who would have thought? Anyway, eight and a half out of ten, solid B plus. I do recommend it, and hopefully you guys like this video. Uh, maybe you want to see more stuff that I find on YouTube ads, such as the uh, elixir that I did in my previous video which was the non-alcoholic cocktails. 
Uh, maybe in the future I'll see another Facebook ad that piques my interest, and I'll bring whatever that is to you and review it. Until next time, guys, I hope you like this video. Bye.